Hello YouTube family, welcome. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Denzel and we are going to be going over how to obtain a line of credit, a line of credit. How do I do it? This was a question from a fellow subscriber, so I want to shout them out. Thank you. And let's dive into it. Let's not waste any time. All right, so what are we going to solve for today? We have to solve for how do I get a line of credit, right? What is a line of credit? What do I, you know, need to have and how does it work? Okay. So a line of credit is multiple of things. Okay. And I listed them out right here. You have personal and business lines of credit. There's unsecured and secured lines of credit, both personal and business. And then you have credit cards, which are like so many different options out there. Okay, so those are your criteria. Basically, if you don't know, for my, maybe my students may not understand this, but uns unsecured basically means you didn't put no money to get the actual line of credit. Uh, secured means you actually put some of your own money, your own capital, and the bank gives you uh, a line of credit right back. For the same amount or a little bit more okay with personal lines of credit tends to be a lower amount than business lines of credit reason being is this is more regulated right than business typically business companies can get like well over a hundred thousand two hundred thousand three hundred thousand of credit to use for their business, right? And that's that's pretty typical, even for like startups, because it's all based on a person's personal credit. If they have business credit already, cool, no issue, right? But the question really is just how do I get it? How do I get started with it? How do I, you know, uh, apply this into Velocity Banking, which is what I teach a lot of, a line of credit is a vital tool in succeeding with with velocity banking to pay off debt increase cash flow lower expenses and raise our credit score all using our own income so I'll just let you know what I did to get my own personal line of credit unsecured right so I have a little my little map okay and whatever state you live in city town wherever you live I want you to go on Google and uh, set the radius for like yeah, 10, 25 miles, okay? North, south, east, west, right? And I want you to type in the name of your state or city, right? And type in credit unions. So Florida, I live in Florida, right? Florida credit unions or Florida non-for-profit banks that's what I want you to type in and look up in your area and you find something that's close to you okay and you're gonna give them a call before you go there before you actually go to the bank right or the credit union I want you to call them first and you're gonna ask a couple of questions okay or you go on their website and you can look for it but it's easier to just call because they're usually always nice. Not-for-profit banks, credit unions, they they put more into, I should say, like customer service and trying to help the consumer out because they're a non-for-profit bank, so all the money that they make, they put back into the members that bank with them that get credit lines and all kinds of different services, right? So you're gonna call them, be like, hey, how you doing? How's your day? Build some rapport, right? Understand there's a human on the other side of that phone. So if you build rapport with them and you make a connection, you may not you you may get more than you originally asked for, right? And that's all with just being nice, okay? But the main things you want to ask for is do you have, do you offer personal lines of credit okay 
most of the time they're going to say yes all right but you need to definitely make sure that it is a line a personal line of credit because it has multiple meanings you could be taught they they could think that you're talking about a credit card or a loan even right like line of credit means to other people oh a loan right and that's technically what it is but there's some differences that we need to separate right to make sure that we're getting the line of credit that we want to do velocity banking right so when you're talking to them you want to ask them is it revolving okay so you, you ask them do you guys offer personal lines of credit yeah we do okay is it revolving okay if they'll be like yeah it's revolving all right how is the interest calculated oh the interest is calculated amortized uh no all right call the next credit union all right or you can stay on the phone with them and just say do you offer personal lines of credit calculated simple interest oh yes we do we do we, we offer that as well okay what are the interest rates on that simple interest okay when you're first starting out if you're young like myself or you don't if you're older and you don't have a lot of credit history in your name there's really not much you can do in terms of getting the lowest interest rate whatever you get there's it's really not a big deal as long as it's not over like 15 percent or 12 percent that's kind of high for for a uh, personal line of credit simple interest you want to be like 10 percent and under is is good but it all depends on where you live in the state and kind of like how their averages work but that's what you would ask is what is the average interest rate on personal lines of credit that are revolving that are calculated simple interest okay so those are your three criteria is it revolving is it calculated simple what's the interest rate right you want to just try and get the lowest possible you can get and you'll ask them what credit score do I need to qualify for that low interest rate say oh you need about uh, 650 okay cool if you have a 650 or higher cool apply right you don't want to just apply everywhere because that could hurt your credit and then that could affect your chances of getting the right line of credit that you originally wanted to do velocity banking so you don't want to get you know uh, um, just applying everywhere all right, that can mess up your credit okay we're we're simply talking about what you can do on your own without actually paying anybody to do it for you right and it's not that hard I I did it I found my local credit union in my area where I live and the name of that bank was bright star credit union there in South Florida cool during with driving distance okay I called them I asked I said, hey, do you offer personal lines of credit? Sure, Denzel, yes, we do. Is it revolving? Yes, it is. You can use it over and over again. There's no uh, time limit on the loan, on the line of credit, right? Is it simple interest? Yes, it's simple interest. Cool. What's the interest rate? 10.99%. Okay, cool. All my other debts paying 15, 20, 25, right? So that's a, a, a good cushion right there, a good interest rate. I applied. Oh, before I applied, I said, what credit score do I need to apply? Oh, we need, you know, 6, 620, 630 or higher or something like that. Uh, it was a while ago that I got it. But I remember it was definitely above 600. And I got it. I started doing velocity banking. Boom. Pretty simple. So yeah, that that's how you can obtain a line of credit on your own without having to pay anyone you just make those phone calls call the banks build rapport be nice be courteous be respectful 
ask these three questions right here to make sure that it is a line of credit to use for velocity banking okay and then you could either walk into the bank and ask for the person that you spoke to because typically with credit unions when you call that branch right it typically is the same person because they don't have a lot of employees right so that's what that's what helps too and they be like oh I remember you cool that's rapport you never know they might do something that that gets you an extra five thousand in in a, in a personal line of credit I did that it helped me I went I, I originally got a five thousand dollar line of credit and then recently I boosted it up to ten just by building rapport with someone and you know I gave them my business card and I talked and made them laugh right simple things so yeah, I hope that helps. Quick video, just how to obtain a line of credit, simple things that you can do to get started on your own. The right questions to ask, what it is, how it works.